Hello everyone and welcome to Plot Twists. So today I'm going to be doing a huge book haul. Um, there are a lot of different sources of the books that I have in this pile and I'm going to go over um, where I got each one or kind of the idea behind each set of books. So overall I have 24 books to talk about. We are going to start with the five books that I picked up from Book of the Month. So first are my Book of the Month pickups for November. Um, for my general box book I picked up These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. This is a YA fantasy retelling of the Romeo and Juliet story set in um, Shanghai in the 20s. This just struck me as some, you guys know I love retellings. Um, Shakespeare retellings I haven't read a whole lot of, but um, I'm really interested to see how this one goes. Um, it just sounded interesting, so I picked it up. My second November book of the month pickup was um, Wayward Son by Rainbow Rowell. This is the second book um, in the Simon Snow trilogy, um, the sequel to Carry On. Um, I have actually already read this by this point. This was a really enjoyable read, but I would not say it was as good as Carry On. Um, it did have a slow start. Once the book kind of started to pick up, the plot was really interesting the way the story went. Um, this actually has a strong introduction of vampires, which was unique and interesting to see in this world. Um, overall, I gave this book four stars. The next three books I have to talk about were part of my December book of the month box. Um, my main pickup was In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. This book I picked up um, as part of the Spellbound Book Club December pick. That's why I read it. Um, I have already finished this one and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, this is a uh, adult romance that takes place over Christmas break. The main character stays in a cabin with her parents, um, college best friends um, and their families. And the main character, Mei Lin or Mei, um, has a huge crush on one of the sons from uh, one of the other families that goes with them to this cabin. Um, this book is really interesting because it definitely has that Groundhog Day trope where she's reliving the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Overall, the way it, it addresses the Groundhog Day plot is really interesting because you don't live through the first week with her before you live through it again. Um, you find out about the first week through the second week or her repeat weeks. Um, repeat days um, as the plot goes on. And that's really interesting. Um, it starts with the first week kind of being a hot mess. Um, and Maylin is definitely not pleased with the direction that the week took. And as she continues to like relive the days, um, she kind of tries to rectify what happens in the first week. Overall, I would say that this is a four star read. Um, it was not without its flaws, but it was definitely exactly what it claims to be. A cozy Christmas rom-com. It was nice. I really enjoyed reading it. It's a fast read. It's not, it's not that big of a book, um, and the text is fairly large. Um, I am interested in picking up more uh, romances by Christina Lauren just because I really enjoyed this one so much. Um, I'm a little worried that I might have enjoyed this one so much because I love Christmas, but I don't know. We'll see. Overall, four-star read. The other two books I picked up with my December Book of the Month box I have not read yet. Um, the first one is Ready Player Two by Ernest Cline. Ready Player One was one of my favorite books of 2020, so I'm hoping to get to Ready Player Two early in 2021. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about this story or where it takes place. Um, I think I have read that it has another contest in it, which I'm interested to see kind of where that comes from, how that works. Um, the main thing I'm hoping to get out of this is more H because that's my favorite character from the first book. Um, they're just um, amazing. So hoping to get more of that. Um, yeah. The next book that I picked up um, is Legendborn. This, from my understanding, is a 
YA fantasy novel that takes place um, in North Carolina, which is super exciting. That's where I'm from. Um, and it centers around a magical kind of thing that takes place. I don't know a whole lot about this one either. Um, the, the premise of like, you know, magic, and I know it takes place on a college campus kind of intrigued me, but, um, I also picked this up because it does have a, um, black main character. And I thought that was really interesting too. Um, overall, I'm super excited to read this. Hopefully I'll get to it in early 2021. So the next three books I picked up because Amazon had one of their buy two, get one free book sales. Um, and I picked up three more books in the Twisted Tales series. The first one that I picked up is Mirror Mirror, which is the Snow White retelling. The basic concept is what if the evil queen poisoned the prince? I really love anything that like flips the damsel in distress concept and, um, I assume, I guess I don't know for a fact, but I assume this is going to have Snow White trying to save the prince and that that's just a super interesting concept to me. So I, I'm really excited to read this one. The next one I picked up is Unbirthday. Um, this is the Alice in Wonderland retelling. The basic concept is what if Wonderland was in peril and Alice was very, very late. Um, and I, I, well, I guess I don't actually know where this is going, to be honest. Um, I haven't really disliked any of the Twisted Tale stories that I read. Um, there are some I, I didn't like as much as others, obviously. Um, but overall, they've all been really interesting. So I'm super excited to get to the Alice in Wonderland one as well. And the last one that I picked up is Straight On Till Morning, which is the Peter Pan retelling. The basic concept is what if Wendy went to Neverland with Captain Hook instead? I... I'm really interested to know where this is going. Does Captain Hook kidnap Wendy? Does Wendy like willingly decide to go with Captain Hook? Does Captain Hook present himself as a good character? Um, does it make Peter Pan the bad guy? I, I'm so excited to see where this goes. Um, Peter Pan is one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, although it is a little problematic, um, obviously. <clears throat> so I'm interested to see how this, um, where this goes, how it addresses that. I don't know. We'll see. The next four books I have to talk about, I picked up because Barnes & Noble was doing a buy one, get one half off on their, um, you know, classic editions. Um, so I picked up four of those. The first one that I picked up is the next collection of Agatha Christie novels. Um, this one's called Death on the Nile and Other Hercule Poirot Mysteries. Um, I have really enjoyed all of the Agatha Christie novels that I read because of these classic editions. Um, Poro is a really interesting character, um, and the way he goes about solving mysteries feels a little um, Sherlock Holmesy, honestly. But a more realistic Sherlock Holmes, I think I want to say. Um, overall, like I said, I've really enjoyed all the ones that I've read, and I can't wait to read more. The next book that I picked up is The Constitution of the United States of America and Selected Writings by the Founding Fathers. Um, this one particularly drew to me because I have been interested in reading the Federalist Papers since I watched Hamilton on Disney+. Plus. Um, and this is included in this. I, I'm i hoping to get to these shortly. Um, I know that it's kind of extensive, but I, I don't know. should be interesting. The next book that I picked up is Chinese Myths and Folk Tales. I have been collecting all of the different um, myth series that the Barnes & Noble Classics have put out. So far I have um, Greek Legends and Heroes and there's a uh, Native American Myths book that I have as well. Um, so this is just adding to that. And the last book that I picked up because of this is Dune by uh, Frank Herbert. This in particular, I'm interested in reading before I know there's a movie coming out. Um, and to be honest, I've been interested in reading Dune for a long time. This is an, uh, I think this is an adult um, fantasy or sci-fi novel. I honestly don't know a whole lot about what Dune is about, um, other than that it's a classic. Um, and I really have enjoyed a lot of the classic like sci-fi books that I've read. So I'm hoping this kind of follows along that same path. 
Um, I know if I enjoy it, there's a lot more books to come. I'm interested to see if the Barnes & Noble Classic Editions will do more of the Dune series, um, or if I'm going to have to purchase them in another manner, but either way, um, I'm excited to read this. And this is not just a beautiful copy. Um, I didn't think I would appreciate it because it's orange, but seeing it in person and the, the pattern of the gold on it, it's, it's just very well done. Okay, so the next set of books that I have to talk about is my Christmas book haul. Um, so I got six different books for Christmas. Um, the first of which was my most anticipated um, Christmas pickup. And that was Crescent City by Sarah J. Maas. Um, this is her, from my understanding, her first real uh, um, adult fantasy novel. I honestly don't know anything about it other than the fact that I really enjoy Sarah J. Mass's other series and I'm excited to start her new stuff. We'll see. My next Christmas pickup was um, As Old as Time and this is the Beauty and the Beast um, retelling. The concept is what if Belle's mother cursed the beast? This is a really, really enjoyable retelling. I have already read it. Um, my motivation for asking for this for Christmas in particular um, is because Disney has stopped putting out their Twisted Tales books in paperback editions, and I am a sucker for having all of my books in the same format. I either need them all in hardcover or all in softcover, so I am recollecting my softcover Twisted Tales books in hardcover format. Um, but yeah, this is a really enjoyable book. Again, if you haven't read any of the Disney Twisted Tales, um, I give them a try. You know, if you're, especially if you're a Disney lover, they're really enjoyable. The next book that I got for Christmas was An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this book either. Um, this was recommended to me by a friend and I actually received it as part of a Secret Santa I did this year. Um, it's a fairly short one, so I'm planning to put it on my January TBR and we'll see what it's like. I know that there's a sequel out already if I end up liking it, so that's pretty cool too. The next book that I got for Christmas was A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Um, I actually picked up accidentally the second book in this series by from a used bookstore um, a couple months ago, and I obviously couldn't read it until I got the first one. So now I have the first one. Um, from my understanding, this is a... Uh, magic series that takes place in London and there are like four different quadrants of London that all have different magic um, and I know that one of the quadrants um, the black magic quadrant is like uninhabited and I assume that's gonna have a large part to do with the story overall I really haven't read anything by V. Schwab that I really didn't love so I'm sure I will also appreciate this series but um, yeah one of my Christmas pickups. The next book I got for Christmas was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I have heard multiple wonderful reviews um, of this book from um, Booktube and books, Bookstagram, um, and I'm still trying to diversify my reading, so that's in particular why I asked for this book to, um, you know, pick up something kind of interesting. Um, this is, from my understanding, from the perspective of a journalist or an author who is writing a piece about um, Evelyn Hugo, who is a Hollywood starlet. And this is kind of about her life and um, the stuff she goes through. And I just thought that was a really interesting concept. Um, so I'm hoping to get to this shortly. And then my last Christmas pickup might be my favorite one. Um, I read, this is The Glass Queen by Gina Showalter. I read The Evil Queen by Gina Showalter, which is kind of the um, prelude to this book. From my understanding from her, they can be read as standalones, but they are better to be read together. So I have already read the first one. I absolutely adored it. I cannot wait to see where this goes. Um, I believe this is the um, Cinderella retelling that she's done. Um, Gina Showalter is one of my favorite authors, and I can't wait to read more. And then the last pile of books I have here to talk about are... Um, a pile that I picked up because I received a $50 Barnes & Noble gift card for Christmas. Um, and I, I spent a little bit more as well. Um, these are my, what I'm calling my um, Bookstagram slash Booktube recommendation books. All of these, the, my interest in all of these books came from 
um, the, the sheer number of you that have talked about these books, and I am super excited to read them. Um, the first one that I picked up is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Maharan. Um, don't really know a whole lot about this book, but I know that um, everybody's really enjoyed it, and I know it's a YA fantasy book. Um, and it, it's a quote on the front by Sarah J. Moss, and I love everything she does, so if she likes it, I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, super excited to get to this one soon. The next book that I picked up is City of Brass um, by S.A. Oh, I'm going to butcher this. Um, Chakraborty? Chakraborty. That's my assumption. Um, I am I understand that this is an adult fantasy novel, um, you know, trying to branch out of that YA little box. Um, so I picked this one up. I think this has to do with some kind of magic. Um, I know this is a trilogy, and I'm really excited to get to it. So my next pickup is Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. Um, this is a middle grade series. Um, again, I don't really know a whole lot about what this is about, but I, I know it's been read a lot and I, I know it's a particularly long series, um, which I'm looking to get into a uh, for 2020. Um, in addition, middle grade novels read so quickly and having one to come in between two like really intensive um adult fantasy novels or adult novels I think is really important um and sometimes it helps me not get into a reading slump so I'm hoping this is how I'm going to place this particular book. The next book that I picked up is Lore by Alexander Bracken. Um as soon as she started um you know describing this book, showing it off. I have been waiting for this book to come out. I didn't realize that I already had. I went to Barnes and Noble. I saw the copy and I, it was going, it was coming home with me regardless of whether I had to buy it individually or not. Um, this is a Greek myth retelling. Um, and I, I am all about this. I cannot wait to read this book. And the last two books I picked up on one of Barnes & Noble's buy one, get one half off tables. Um, I bought this yesterday, so chances are if you're interested in either of these books, they're still on their buy one, get one half off table. Um, the first of these is Circe by Madeline Miller, um, another Greek myth telling. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I know that if I enjoy it, there's um, another book called Song of Achilles. And um, I'm just excited to get to this. I think it'll be a good, a good, um, interesting tale. The second book is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This was recommended to me in particular. Um, I don't know a whole lot about The Night Circus, but um, I know that everybody has been talking about The Starless Sea, which is her most recent book. So if I enjoy The Night Circus, I plan to pick up The Starless Sea as well. In addition to those 24 books, I also have two other complete series um, that I ordered this morning that are, it should be in the mail shipping to me shortly. Um, I have picked up the entire Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. This has been recommended to me so many times, so I'm hoping to get to all of these in 2021. Um, I also ordered the hardcover copies of the entire um, Hunger Games trilogy, including the new book, which is Ballad of Songbird and Snakes, um, which is the in-depth book about President Snow's beginnings. Uh, my plan is to read the prequel and then reread the entire Hunger Games trilogies in 2021. So I'm looking forward to get to the getting to those as well. All right, guys, so that's all 24 books that um, I received over the course of the months of November and December. Um, if you guys liked this video, please like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to plan to post starting in 2020. I'm going to plan to post um, twice a week, once between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and once on the weekends. Um, let me know if there's any particular videos that you guys would like to see, and um, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!